So binomial distribution here, this time we're trying to find the sample size. Now this is a really interesting question, and you're going to do more of this stuff later on, but we're going to sort of talk about 95% confidence. So, if you're in a population, uh, there is a 48% chance that any person you call, you pick some random phone numbers, that person is a girl. How many people do you need to call to be 95% confident you'll call at least one girl? Okay, so um, obviously if you called just one person, you'd have a 48% chance of calling a, a girl. Okay, and a 52% chance that it was a boy. If you called two people, the odds of at least one of those people being a girl is higher than that. We need to know how many people do we need to call to make sure that we're 95% confident that we will call a girl. All right, let's do it. Uh, now, we're talking about the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 is equal to 0.95. Could we want more than one success, or, or exactly one success? Okay, what does that mean? Well, we can now say that um, the probability of x is greater than or equal to 1 is the same as 1 minus the probability uh, that x is equal to 0, right? And we can say now that 1 minus the probability that x is equal to 0 is equal to 0 0.95. And now I can say that if I do some sort of juggling, I can say that the probability that x is equal to 0 is equal to 0 0.05. Okay, hopefully you followed that along. So now we've got this here. The probability that x is equal to 0 is 0 0.05. So now I can use my binomial probability formula. So I can say that 0 0.05, which is the probability that x is equal to 0, is equal to uh, nr, N is the trials that I'm trying to find. R is um, how many successes. And the successes I'm looking for is zero. Times uh, P to the power of um, R times 1 minus P to the power of uh, N minus R. Now what's R in this case? Well, R is the number of successes we want, which is 0. And so n minus r is n minus 0, which is simply n. Okay, so n0, that's just 1. 1 times p to the 0 is 1. And this is 1 minus p. Now we know what p is. It's 0 0.48. So 1 minus 0 0.48 is 0 0.52. So now I can say that 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.52 to the power of n. And I can solve that using uh, logs. Now I'm going to take the natural log of both sides, and we can use our third log law to take that n, bring it out the front. So now we can say that n equals ln 0 0.05 over ln uh, 0.52. And we can type that into a calculator and some answer will come out. Now, 4.58. So let's think about what we're talking about here. How many people do you need to call to be 95% confident you'll call at least one girl? Well, you can't make 4.58 calls. Now, if you make four calls, you'll be less confident than 95%. So, the thing that we need to finish this off with is make at least five calls to be more than 95% confident. So that one takes a little bit of thinking. We can go one step further than that. I'm going to scrub some stuff off. We're just going to change just a little bit about the question. Same number, same question, but now we want to be 95% confident you'll call at least two girls. So, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 must be equal to 0 0.95. Now, how can we 
manipulate that. But we can say that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 is the same as 1 minus the probability that x is equal to 0 minus the probability that x is equal to 1. And that needs to be equal to 0 0.95. Now, with some manipulation, we can say that the probability that x is equal to 0 plus the probability that x is equal to 1 must be equal to 1 minus 0 0.95, 0 0.5. Zero five. Now it's probably more useful if I can write that in reverse. It's the same kind of problem except now we have two of these. So running through it step by step, we have the probability that x is equal to zero, that's going to be n zero um, p to the power of um, r, which is zero, times uh, one minus p which is a 0.52 to the power of um, n. And plus uh, n1, um, 0.48, which is p, I really should write 0.48 there, to the power of 1 times 0.52 to the power of n minus 1. Ooh. Okay, there's some little things we can do here. n0 is just 1 and p to the 0 or 0 0.48 to the 0 is 1. So we have 1 times 1 times 0 0.52. Plus. Now n1 is the number of ways that you can select one object from n and that's just n. And 0 0.48 to the 1 is just 0 0.48. So I have n times 0 0.48, or 0 0.48 times n. And then we're going to multiply that by 0 0.48, 0 0.52 to the power of n minus 1. Now all of that nonsense has to be equal to 0 0.05. And you might be looking at that a little bit concerned because you might think, oh, I've got to solve that algebraically. We don't have a way to solve that algebraically, but we would have a calculator in our hand. So you can type all of that into your calculator with a big old n solve out the front. The Casio will do that, n solve, type all of that in, and it should spit out a number 7.7985. Now, remember, how many people do you need to call to be 95% confident? You can't call decimal people, so you have to call at least eight people. You've got to round up. Now, if you do examples in textbooks and things like that, technically, at the beginning of here, they'll say uh, the probability that x is greater than or equal to must be greater than 0.95 must be greater than zero, and they work down with this greater than, greater than, greater than, greater than, greater than. It is fine to instead work with the equal signs as I've done. The mathematical equality is n equals 7.7985, and therefore, because we're dealing with binomial probabilities and you can't ask, and it's a discrete probability, we'll need to round up to eight. Okay, that is a tough one. Binomial distribution finding a sample size.